Okay, guys. Um, last time when we looked at, we did animation, we did morphing. Okay, in the morphing one where we did, we got this text where we got it to rotate, go in a circle, create. This is animation, and it continuously go in a loop. What I'm going to show you now is how to create this glass breaking effect where the word animation at the end once it morphs, it breaks apart, and it makes that glass breaking effect. Okay, so what we're going to do is go to back to our animation. So now this this part we don't need anymore because we're going to go in a loop. I'm going to do something else. Okay, so we're just going to right click, highlight those cells, not number 90, everything from 91 to 100, and we're going to remove those frames. Okay, so now we're just back to our original um, animation, which is dotted because we've broken it apart. Now, what we're going to do is go to frame 100, we're going to press F6. What you're going to do now is get this the selection tool. You're going to click on the selection tool, and I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the letter N. Okay, be careful. Do not highlight bits of any other letter because if you do that, if you notice, that moves apart as well together. So bits of uh, like a slight bit of that O have come off as well. You don't want to do that. So what you need to do is make sure you only highlight the letter N. Okay, so I'm going to get that letter N. I'm going to move it to the top. Do the same thing with the O. Highlight it. Move the letter O somewhere else. Somewhere else on the screen. Carry on, do the same thing with I. Move that. So move the I there. Same with the T. So just move it somewhere completely on a different part of the screen. So it looks like that word animation has just dissolved or broken. Uh, like it's been hit by a ball or something. Okay, so you get the word letter N finally. And finally, do the same with the A. A, well. So we can move these around slightly, play around with these. Move the A there, put the N there, okay. And move the O slightly there. Okay, so now if you look at it, okay, now if it, once again at the end, we're going to add 15 frames because we want to actually look at this after it's broken. So again, press F5. Oops, control Z. Sorry, uh, not F5, F6. I'm going to push F6, the insert keyframe there. Okay, we don't want to tween it, remove that tween. Okay, now we're going to watch what it does. So now it does this is animation, and then the word animation just breaks apart. Okay, that word animation is broken apart. Okay, however, it's not still, it's still not what we want to do. What we want to do is have a little sound, a sound that plays when the animation breaks apart. Okay, so to do this, what you need to do is go on the Flash um, a website, which is really good. Um, it's known uh, where you can get a lot of sounds for whatever you want. It's called FlashKit.com. Okay, once you go into that site, okay, go to Sound Effects. Now you can locate any types of sound you want, whether it's people, sounds, transportation, instruments, cartoon, interfaces, all the different types of sounds that you can find. What we want is that break glass effect. So we want like to sound like it's broken, that word animation. So what we're going to do is type in here, break glass, or anything that related broken glass, and we're going to search for a sound. Okay, look, um, we found one right here, so breaking glass effect. So let's click on that. Okay, let's test it out, see if it sounds... Okay, yep, that sounds that sound perfect. Okay, so now that we found that sound, what we can do, we can download that. How you download it is right click where it says download mp3. Okay, the sound effect. Okay, right click and then click save link as. Okay, now save that link. Save it to your folder. So I'm going to save it to my unit 37 folder. Okay, and rename it obviously um, broken break glass, whatever you want to call it. Okay, I've already got one in the break glass. Okay. I've already got one in there called glass break, so I'm just going to use that one. So once you've done that, click on save, and that will save into your folder. Okay, now what you need to do is go back to your tutorial, or sorry, your um, animation. Okay, now you need to import that sound. So file, import, and you want to import it to the library. You don't want to import it to the stage, because you don't want to put that sound anywhere randomly. There's a specific place where you want to put that sound. So we're going to do import to library. Okay, I'm going to locate that sound. So my one originally was called break glass. So I'm going to import that. 
Okay, so here's my sound now. Now remember I said um, what, in one of my tutorials about the layout. The reason is you can see everything that you import into it. So there I can see my break glass mp3 sound that I've imported. So what I'm going to do now is locate firstly where this animation starts breaking. As I know, it starts breaking at frame 90. So at frame 90 is where I want my sound. So I'm going to click on frame 90 and on the left hand side your properties panel for frame 90. Okay, you got the sound bar. Okay, you got sorry, you got the sound properties. So what you're going to do is click on this drop down list, click on the sound of it. it's already there. So break glass. Okay, it asks me if I want to repeat it or loop it. I don't want to repeat it. I just want it to play once. So I'll repeat. If I want it to keep playing over and over again, I'll do repeat times three. But when it to go in a loop, obviously I will select loop. Okay, so now if we run this animation and we test out that sound. Okay. okay, as you can see, it makes that sound right at the end. So that sound goes on okay, at frame 90. So that's worked perfectly fine. You've got that breaking glass effect where the sound has broken and that's morphing using sound. Okay, what you can do as well, you can play around with this where you've got the word animation, you can get it transferred back to the word uh, the animation. So once it's broken, get it to go back to animation and you can just play around with it and try different things. Okay, so uh, here's one I've made earlier. Open. Okay, so I've done something like this before, so where I created animation, I've used the break glass, I've also used additional sounds, I've imported it, and I played around and I created a little animation like this. So I've got this, so you've got these sounds coming out. Okay, as you see, I've got the sound, I've got the sounds, and I've got the animation breaks up, and then I've got a sound effect to get it back, transforms back to the word animation. Okay. All of that timing, as you can see, um, I haven't, in my animation, I haven't stuck to my original 10, 15, 10, is because of the sound of this bit, when the word animation, once it's broken up, goes back to, okay, once it goes back, okay, starts animation, goes back to the word animation, okay, there's a sound, I had to time it, so this is all about timing, remember this unit is all about timing, how you time your work. Yeah, and also what I've done at the end, just like we did in my other tutorial, is added the word transforms back to this, so that it plays in a continuous loop. And on the word this, I've got a sound as well. If you look at it, I've called it back again, zoop, and these are all these sounds. So the first sound where each word morphs into another is the zoop. Once the animate word animation breaks apart and splits like a scattered glass, I've got the break glass. When it transforms back to the word animation, I've got um, back again, of course. That's what I've named my sound. Okay, so this is um, an advanced tutorial on what you can do with morphing and creating morph using morphing in animation. Okay, look back at studio. Next, my next tutorial is going to be about masking, not just any old masking, but creating that spotlight effect. <coughs>